Mute Me is a device designed as a simple button you can put on your desktop when there are background noises. The co-founders are Parm Dute and Ty Davis, who saw an opportunity in the new work from home market. These entrepreneurs got the idea for Mute Me. Since they both are parents with kids, who had difficulty muting their conference software quickly enough to quiet background noises while working from home during the pandemic period. It's a perfect tool when you're multitasking. No more conference call slip-ups or fears. <laughs> Whether you're working or learning, our button makes things easy. Mute Me is also specially designed for those who aren't familiar with computers and related software. This device not only lets you drown out noises, but also lets others in the meeting know that you are muting yourself. However, they have only done about $60,000 in sales since they launched web sales. And they could only sell 150 units on site in every Staples store. Each unit costs $11.66 to make, so they sell it for $39.95 at retail. Parm Dute, Handeep Dute, Ty Davis, Brittany Davis, and Pavan Piraval are the brains behind Mute Me. Parm is the CEO and co-founder of this company. He has just completed a degree in business administration and management and has worked in human resources. Ty Davis is the CFO and co-founder of this company. He has studied for a master's in communications and has been the manager of technical marketing in a software corporation. The duo was all fixed up to pitch out their unique invention to the Sharks, Mark Cuban, Lori Greiner, Damon John, Kevin O'Leary, and the guest shark Peter Jones. However, the entrepreneurs enter the shark tank seeking $200,000 for 10% of their business. But the sharks were not quite satisfied with the sales of the invention. Why would you think someone would use this in 2020? You're just investing in a button that goes red and green. And we, could, <laughs> we could create that tomorrow. The sharks refused their financial rates, but Damon offers another tribute of $200,000 for 50% equity, but eventually turns it down since all the sharks were critical of the investment. <laughs> I'm out. Even the guest shark Peter comments that his team will mock him if he invests $200,000 on a button that turns red and green. So I go back and my guys say, what the f are you doing? Because we, <laughs> you're just investing in a button that goes red and green. And we, could, <laughs> we could create that tomorrow. Therefore, the founders left with no deal. Although the sharks didn't accept their deal, they kept growing their market. After Shark Tank, this company launched a Kickstarter campaign for its next product, Mute Me Mini. The goal of this campaign was set at $10,000, but it raised over $28,000, making it the number one device in new releases in Mac accessories in 2022. Mute Me did not get investment in Shark Tank, but it was able to increase its organic sales to some extent building its current net worth to around $430,000. Accordingly, Mute Me grabbed the voice and attention of its audience without much effort but with two simple lights. If you are a fan of Mac accessories, don't forget to grab your Mute Me in its latest version.